Now open your question paper and look at part one. You'll hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer, A, B or C. One. You hear a man speaking on the radio about scientists. What's his attitude to scientists? A. He doesn't always trust them. B. He respects their opinions. C. He regrets not having their ability. Usually, unless it's an area I'm particularly interested in, I don't pay too much attention to scientists. Often, clever, well-respected academics are not terribly good communicators, and they can take ten minutes to say what could be said in one. They also use a lot of technical language, and this tends to lose a large section of their audience, me included. Therefore, I tend to be a bit suspicious of them, and I feel disillusioned and let down. That might be down to my lack of academic ability, but I think that possibly I'm in the majority. Usually, unless it's an area I'm particularly interested in, I don't pay too much attention to scientists. Often, clever, well-respected academics are not terribly good communicators, and they can take ten minutes to say what could be said in one. They also use a lot of technical language, and this tends to lose a large section of their audience, me included. Therefore, I tend to be a bit suspicious of them, and I feel disillusioned and let down. That might be down to my lack of academic ability, but I think that possibly I'm in the majority. Two, you overhear two people talking on a bus. Where does the woman think she lost her mobile phone? A. In her car. B. In her office. C. In a shop. This traffic is terrible. You better phone Cathy and tell her we're going to be late. I can't. My mobile phone's disappeared. I had it when I phoned you from the car yesterday evening. Then I called in at the supermarket, and I suspect it was lifted out of my bag then, because when I wanted it in the office this morning, I couldn't find it. I searched through every drawer in my desk, all my files, the waste paper basket, everywhere. This traffic is terrible. You better phone Cathy and tell her we're going to be late. I can't. My mobile phone's disappeared. I had it when I phoned you from the car yesterday evening. Then I called in at the supermarket, and I suspect it was lifted out of my bag then, because when I wanted it in the office this morning, I couldn't find it. I searched through every drawer in my desk, all my files, the waste paper basket, everywhere. Three. You turn on the radio and hear the beginning of a programme. What type of programme is being introduced? A. A documentary about the environment. B. A feature about holidays. C. A personal story about a journey. Now, how would you all like to spend a week or two travelling slowly down a peaceful canal through attractive villages and open fields? Many people, like me in fact, are choosing an altogether slower pace of life for their summer break. We seem to have realised that travelling round the world is one thing, but we've completely forgotten what's on our doorstep. And this is one way of finding it again, whilst at the same time doing your bit to save the environment. So, now over to John Friedman, who's going to tell you more about taking time out on a traditional canal boat. Now, how would you all like to spend a week or two travelling slowly down a peaceful canal through attractive villages and open fields? Many people, like me in fact, are choosing an altogether slower pace of life for their summer break. We seem to have realised that travelling round the world is one thing, but we've completely forgotten what's on our doorstep. And this is one way of finding it again, whilst at the same time doing your bit to save the environment. So, now over to John Friedman, who's going to tell you more about taking time out on a traditional canal boat. 4. You hear an artist talking about his school days. 
What made him interested in sculpture as a career? A. His teacher showed him new sculpture techniques. B. His family believed he had a talent for sculpture. C. His first attempt at sculpture was highly praised. One day at school, we were each given a piece of wood and told to do a sculpture. Everyone started cutting away at the outside, but I made a hole in my piece and started working from the inside outwards. The teacher was impressed with my approach and wondered what had made me do that, but I just done what came naturally. My sculpture was much admired. I felt I'd finally found something I was good at and began to pursue sculpture as a possible career, much to the disappointment of my mum and dad, who thought it was just a hobby and couldn't see where it was leading. One day at school, we were each given a piece of wood and told to do a sculpture. Everyone started cutting away at the outside, but I made a hole in my piece and started working from the inside outwards. The teacher was impressed with my approach and wondered what had made me do that, but I just done what came naturally. My sculpture was much admired. I felt I'd finally found something I was good at and began to pursue sculpture as a possible career, much to the disappointment of my mum and dad, who thought it was just a hobby and couldn't see where it was leading. 5. You overhear two students talking. What do they agree about? A. It's important to study. B. It's necessary to find a job. C. It's an appropriate time to travel. I can't believe we're going to be leaving school soon, forever. What are you going to do? Travel. It's the best chance I'll have to go away for a few months, you know, before university and stuff takes over. Yeah, yeah. Then it becomes much more difficult. But what about money? I've saved up quite a lot over the past year, so I'm OK, I hope. Oh, I'll have to work for a bit and then think about what I'm going to do. And I've been given a huge reading list to get through before university starts. Oh, poor you. You're going to be busy. Mm. I can't believe we're going to be leaving school soon, forever. What are you going to do? Travel. It's the best chance I'll have to go away for a few months, you know, before university and stuff takes over. Yeah, yeah. Then it becomes much more difficult. But what about money? I've saved up quite a lot over the past year, so I'm OK, I hope. Oh, I'll have to work for a bit and then think about what I'm going to do. And I've been given a huge reading list to get through before university starts. Oh, poor you. You're going to be busy. Mm. 6. You overhear a swimming instructor talking to a learner about his swimming technique. What mistake has the learner just made? A. He forgot the correct hand position. B. He moved his arms too soon. C. He kicked too weakly. OK, now when you've kicked and you've flattened the water, You've got to really stretch out and make your body as long as possible. You're kicking, it's a decent kick, but then you're starting your arms again immediately afterwards. I want to see you kick, then get straight and count for one second before you move your arms and legs again. I want you like a pencil floating on top of the surface. And remember what we said last week about leading with the hands in a circular movement. Your circle's OK, but take your time. OK, now, when you've kicked and you've flattened the water, you've got to really stretch out and make your body as long as possible. You're kicking, it's a decent kick, but then you're starting your arms again immediately afterwards. I want to see you kick, then get straight and count for one second before you move your arms and legs again. I want you like a pencil floating on top of the surface. And remember what we said last week about leading with the hands in a circular movement. Your circle's OK, but take your time. 7. On the radio, you hear a fashion designer talking about her life. What was she like as a child? A. Very strong-minded. B. Highly competitive. C. Very dependent on her parents. 
Well, fashion was always something I was interested in. I think I was almost born with it, you know. At six, I was refusing to leave the house unless I felt my clothes would make me look cool, or so my parents say. I had very clear ideas even then. There was no negotiation. I think young children are actually more aware of what they and their friends are wearing than we realise. Even my brothers loved dressing up games and wanted to imitate the dress of their TV heroes. Well, fashion was always something I was interested in. I think I was almost born with it, you know. At six, I was refusing to leave the house unless I felt my clothes would make me look cool, or so my parents say. I had very clear ideas even then. There was no negotiation. I think young children are actually more aware of what they and their friends are wearing than we realise. Even my brothers loved dressing up games and wanted to imitate the dress of their TV heroes. 8. You overhear a woman leaving a message on an answering machine. Why is she phoning? A. To rearrange a meeting. B. To apologise for something she's done. C. To ask a favour. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for your message about Friday. I'm really sorry, but I can't do the other dates you suggested. Would you mind very much if we left it for now? Anyway, what I was wondering was, could you tell Lizzie I can't make her party? I know you are intending to go, and it'll sound better coming from you. It's work mainly. There are a number of deadlines I need to meet, so I'm trying to clear my diary. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for your message about Friday. I'm really sorry, but I can't do the other dates you suggested. Would you mind very much if we left it for now? Anyway, what I was wondering was, could you tell Lizzie I can't make her party? I know you are intending to go, and it'll sound better coming from you. It's work mainly. There are a number of deadlines I need to meet, so I'm trying to clear my diary. That's the end of part one.